everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my Birchbox and Ipsy unboxing video or beauty subscription showdown like I like to call them for October. And I cannot believe October is already more than halfway over. Like Halloween is what, next Friday? That's insane. And if you guys like to stay up to date on more personal things, I've been posting weekly updates every Monday over on my Facebook page and the link to that will be listed down below. It's just facebook.com slash lovelacybeauty. But for those of you who do follow me or like my page, you will know that we had a huge family garage sale in the beginning of October and it just took a whole lot of time to get everything situated. So really I finally feel like everything is like slowing down and I have way more free time to focus on videos and stuff. But yeah, we had that. It was a lot of work. It's finally over. We had it last weekend, I think. And yeah, it went off without a hitch. But if you guys want more personal updates, my Facebook page is the place to go. But enough rambling. Let's go ahead and jump into my Birchbox and my Ipsy bag for this month. And if you guys saw last month's video, you will know that I had two awesome subscriptions. So I'm really, really hoping that these two stack up again this month. Hopping right in to Birchbox. Sorry, I had to like rip that open right there. And sorry if my sound sounds a little bit different or off. I'm still playing around with this new boom that I have my microphone like sitting kind of like right down here so sorry if it sounds weird I'm working on it but here is my birch box for this month and I do remember the product that I did pick out for this like I said last month I love how birch box comes out with those emails where you either get to pick the featured box that has all different products or you get to choose one product that goes into your box and I believe I chose a Mally like liquid lipstick type deal and I think it was like a pinky shade so I'm really excited to see what that is but let's go ahead and take a look at the theme and I have a couple little cards here right here it just says obsessed addicted can't get enough hold my calls so I don't know I kind of like the shorter little themes but hey whatever so moving right along there's just like a I don't know little card don't ever read that let's go ahead and open right on up to my lovely birch box this month so right out of the gate, I do see something from Mally, so I'm going to just open it because this is the High Shine Liquid Lipstick that I chose, and the color, I believe, was like Petal Pusher, something like that. On the card, it says this Mally High Shine Liquid Lipstick in Petal to the Metal, so I was close. The full size is $20, and it says this ultra shiny formula acts as a lip gloss, lip primer, lipstick, and liner all in one. Turn the dial on the bottom of the pen to release pigment then brush onto lips. I have seen Emily Eddington talk about these so, so much. She's a big Mally girl and I absolutely love it. I really haven't tried a whole lot from Mally, but I believe this is a color that Emily really raves about in this kind of thing and I've always wanted to try it. So I was super, super excited when I got to choose it. So yeah, I mean, it's really just what it says. The packaging looks really, really nice and it has that brush style applicator. If you guys are interested, just leave me a comment down below below telling me if you want to see any of these products featured in a first impression over on Instagram. I really, really love doing those and it really gives me a chance to tell you what I think about something like this. And I will be giving it a try and probably posting it anyway, but just give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below any of these products you want to see over there. But like I said, I'm super excited to try this. I've heard a lot of great things and I think the color is absolutely beautiful. Next up is something from Shiseido and on the card on here it says that this is the Ulta Immune power infusing concentrate the full size is 65 to 95 dollars enhances skin's defensive power against signs of aging for a radiant complexion use it morning and night apply to a clean face before serum and moisturizer to boost results so I am kind of over skincare samples I even went into my birch box um, little profile and I unchecked like whatever box that was I don't know if it was like an anti-aging box or something but I'm just so set in my ways when it comes to my skincare routine that I don't find myself using these a whole lot. I like the color, I like the packaging, and I like that it's something that you can kind of put on to boost your other things. But like I said, I'm not super, super open to trying like a ton of new things on my face because I just feel like my skin's in a really, really good place right now with the products that I do use. So yeah, I'm excited to get it. I probably will give it a try, but I highly, highly doubt that I'll fall in love with it. Next up, this looks like a perfume, and it is like kind of cute packaging in 
is the sample supposed to be green? Oh no, I think it's just the packaging. I'm like, is that a green perfume? That's kind of weird. But on the card, it says the Toka perfume in Florence. The full size is $68 with notes of, oh gosh, bergamot, gardenia, and jasmine. This floral scent has an old world charm. Spritz onto pulse points to make an elegant impression. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is totally up my alley. It is strictly, strictly floral, and I absolutely love every single thing about it. I can honestly say that this might be the first little perfume sample that I use completely up because I love it that much. Oh, I'm still like smelling that perfume. Okay, so reaching into this little pocket thing pouchy thing that's in every box is this tiny teensy weensy little eyeliner birch box. I am not very happy about this, but on the card, this is the Lord and Barry. Oh gosh, Pilates <laughs> glitter eye pencil in black. The full size is $18. This blendable pencil from the UK brand is studded with bits of silver shimmer. Glide along the lash line for a look that's anything but basic black. So I like me some basic black. What's wrong with basic black? I really don't feel like I'm going to be using this. I mean, let alone every day I don't even wear black eyeliner as it is. I don't wear any eyeliner during the week hardly. And let alone a sparkly one. I don't know. I can see my myself maybe like smudging this across my lash line on a night where I'm like gonna go out on a date with Jerome but I mean we don't make that big of deals about our dates so I don't know I really don't see myself using this and I'm just really unhappy with how small it is. And last but not least is this Evoli butter it says on the front but on the card it says the Evoli vanilla butter full size is $26. This is made from just six all natural ingredients. This lush cream moisturizes and soothes. Smooth onto body, face, and hair for intense hydration and a delectable vanilla scent. I'm gonna give this a smell. I'm still smelling that awesome perfume by the way, but I'll give it a smell. It does smell very, very faintly of vanilla, and I'm not a huge fan of things like this. I do love body butters, but I'm really bad about applying lotion actually, and I don't know. I'm I'm a fan of natural ingredients, but I don't like see it and be like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. It's all natural. I don't know. That kind of thing just doesn't bother me that much. And I find myself using a lot of products that aren't natural. So to me, it's not that big of a deal. But this is like a very oily feeling body butter. It's not like a lotion by any means. It's almost like a hard solid. I don't know. I'm not totally, totally thrilled with this. And I don't know if I really see myself using it, to be honest. So that's everything that I had in my box for October. And to be quite honest, looking over all of these products, two really stand out to me. One being this Mally Lip product and two being this amazingly smelling perfume. I really don't think that everybody would be into this because it's very, 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 very floral. But that's totally what I'm into, so I absolutely love it. And I really think the packaging of this is really nice. It's super heavy, which is kind of unheard of for these little samples like this. But anyway, looking over all of the products, I'm not really a huge fan of the other three, but because of the lip product and the perfume, I'm going to have to give it like a 5 out of 10. Moving right along to Ipsy, I am really excited because this thing feels really, really heavy and like packed to the brim, and there's something just sitting right on top there, and that always makes me very happy. But yeah, Ipsy, come on, step up your game. Birchbox only got a 5, so hopefully you can pass it up this month. But the first thing that I'm seeing is a pro protein BB cream. This says that it's from eCure, I think, and it's a New York cosmetic hair care company, I guess. So I guess this is a hair product. I've said this before, but I hate not getting a card with Ipsy because I don't have any information about this stuff. But anyway, this just says, I think it's the Ah. Cassia Protein BB Cream Beauty Balm for Hair. No parabens. It's color safe. And let's see what the directions actually say. It says emulsify a small size amount in hands. Work through damp hair starting at the ends and working up. Style hair as usual. And for added hydration, it may also be applied to dry hair. So I really like the packaging. I like the idea of a beauty balm for my hair. But it really just depends on, I think, the consistency for me. Because I don't like to put a lot of heavy things on my hair. And opening this up, it looks like a kind of liquidy cream. So I think this will be fine. I'm anxious to see what it does. And yeah, I will definitely give this a try. And hopefully, I will fall in love with it. I think we all love super shiny, super silky, 
super smooth hair. So yeah, I'll give this a try. Okay, so getting into the actual bag, I forgot I hadn't even pulled this out yet, but on the card it says that the theme is beauty candy. So it has like this cool picture with all of these candies and everything. So yeah, and here is the bag. I kind oh, there's like this clingy thing on it. Okay. Anyway, it won't get off. Okay, so here's the actual bag, and I'm not going to lie, I kind of like it. I mean, I love how it's just like one color. It's kind of quilted. I think it's pretty cool, and I like the color. So yeah, can't complain about this one. Good job, Ipsy. But reaching right on in, I see a product from Jessie's Girl, and I'm a huge fan of Jessie's Girl after trying their liquid eyeliner, which I'm wearing today. How funny. And yeah, that's one of Kara Emily's favorite eyeliners. I was so darn excited to get it in Ipsy, gosh, probably a couple months ago. And this looks like one of their mineralized baked powder eyeshadows. So let's see if I can find a shade. I'm not seeing much, which is kind of, oh, right there, plum frost. So yeah, plums are going to be in for fall. They probably already are. And even though I don't really keep up with the trends all that much with my makeup, I think I'll definitely give this a try. This packaging seems really, really nice. It's a really heavy duty plastic. And let's see what this actual color looks like. It's just a very, very metallic-y, almost pinky berry color. So I think that's really pretty. I'll definitely give that a try. And I definitely think that with my blue eyes, this is going to pair wonderfully. Next up is this fun little packaging right here. Holy cow. This is the Roseberry Figs in Rouge Nourishing and Soothing Hand Cream with Shea Butter. And I think the brand is Pure and Natural. Maybe it's made in the UK. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to give this a try. I'm really hoping that it smells like roses, but who knows? Since it's fig and a rouge or rogue or whatever that says, rouge maybe? I don't know. Ooh! Oh my gosh. Okay, this smells really good. It smells really fruity and kind of sweet, so I'm really, really liking this. It just seems like a hand cream. I think that's just what it said. And it's almost one of like the thinner feeling ones, which I don't care for. It almost makes my hands feel wet. Does that make sense? Have you ever did that with a lotion where you like rub it in but it starts feeling like not super creamy and really rich? It just feels kind of slippery. I don't know how to describe it, but it does soak in well. It doesn't feel super oily. And that smell, holy cow, I've never smelled anything like it. That smells really good. So yeah, really, really liking this. It's going in my purse, no doubt, and that packaging is Adorable, right? Next up is something from Good Gravy. How many brands am I going to get today that I cannot pronounce? It looks like it's a pice. I have no clue. That's as good as you're going to get, guys. I'm sorry. But this is a purifying exfoliant. It says, moisten skin with lukewarm water. Use alone or with a hydrating facial cleanser. Apply with your fingertips in a small circular motion, blah, 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 blah. Leave on a few minutes and then rinse thoroughly. Use once or twice weekly. I'm over exfoliants. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've gotten so many exfoliants in my bags and in my boxes within the past six months. It's crazy. And I don't know if I said this before, but actually for our garage sale, I went through all of my samples that I knew I would never use, put them in big bags, and sold them for like $2 because I just... There's no way I would get through them all. So I'm being very picky and choosy when it comes to keeping these. If I don't think I'm going to use it, I'm either going to throw it away or I'm going to give it to a family member. And I have just gotten so many of these. I'm on Retin-A. I've said it before. So I don't need like all these exfoliants to use every two weeks or whatever. I'm really set in my ways as my skincare goes. And if you want a video on my skincare routine, I've been meaning to do it, just let me know down below because I think it'd be really interesting. Mine's very, very simple but very effective. So adding something like this right now just doesn't seem necessary, so I really don't think I'm going to use it. And the last but not least, it looks like a lip product from Starlooks. I'm not a huge fan of Starlooks by any means because I've gotten like two or three products from them. They weren't very good, so I'm a little hesitant, but this is... I guess just like a lip gloss, it doesn't really say anything in Guilty Pleasure. And the packaging is okay, it's a little plasticky, doesn't seem very high end. And the color for me is a little nude, but the color actually has a lot more pink to it in a swatch. So 
I guess it's just, just a lip gloss. I don't know, but it does have some nice pigmentation to it. I'm not a huge lip gloss person, and on the hand, this kind of seems like it could be like the slightest bit sticky, so I'm not totally sold with this. Like I said, the brand really hasn't impressed me in the past. So after looking over everything in my Ipsy bag, and really the sample sizes were great in this, but the thing is, I was more excited about the two products that I got in Birchbox that I absolutely loved, so I'm going to have to give this a 4 out of 10, which means that this is the runner-up, but in here I really did like the hand cream, I really did like the eyeshadow, but it's just hard to know if I'm really going to love this until I use it on my eyes or whatever. And then the other two things, the hair product, I mean, I don't know, I just wasn't as thrilled with the products in this bag than I was with that awesome perfume and that awesome lip product from Birchbox. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to give it a 4 out of 10. If you're looking to sign up, I'll have all of that information in the links down below as well as all of the links to the actual products over in my Resultly collection. I'm still going to be doing that. I find it really, really helpful because it just makes it super easy to find the products, to get all of the information in one place, so that link will be down below. And then lastly, I did want to throw in here because I am a little bit part with Sigma. They're having an amazing flash sale and I'll have all of that information linked down in the description box for you. I believe it's 20% off all individual brushes. So if you guys are looking to stock up on some new brushes, I would highly, highly suggest doing it now. And like I said, you have to use a coupon code. So I'll have that link down below and it's probably ending very, very soon. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye everyone.